Okay, great. And so the other thing that I had wanted to talk about, and I'm doing this into two separate videos, so that we can focus in on the rib mobilization. So this is a bit of self-treatment. So I am gonna lie down on my pillow in a second, but I just want you to get an idea of the um, hand placement. So you wanna use your fingers on like between your ribs and you're gonna come all the way down the edge of the sternum. We're gonna work on both sides. We're also gonna have a hand position where you lock onto a rib and then, and then you're kind of pushing in that direction. So you can in and away, in and away, and you're getting this kind of compression coming through. And we're gonna work a little bit down the sternum as well. Okay, so this is just a quick kind of self-treatment thing that you can do that's really great for setting up the, see if I can do this with my foot, um, setting up the um, mobilization of the rib cage to down-regulate the sympathetics and increase your rib movement. I did this with myself this morning. I had a little bit of a stiff back um, having done a PT session yesterday and then um, I was just rela after I did the rib mobilization, I relaxed and the bit of my low back that was holding just released. So it, it can be it's really powerful. Okay, so just get that same finger pressure. I'm going to do this side. You maybe a little bit more chance of seeing me. Okay, so I'm doing this and I just want you to shake it. Okay, so you're just shaking on the ribs and I'm just going to be quiet for a minute so that you can You really want to let your breath slow down. It's quite uncomfy in spots. Just you'll be surprised by how much this gets to. All right, other side. And you can even come right under, so you slightly hook underneath the rib cage. And just doing a bit more of a, like you're um, kneading down the edge of a pie before it goes in the oven. Okay. And then just I'm um, hanging on to the ribs, so. When it's like you're assisting the movement as you breathe out, you're taking the rib movement in the out breath a little bit further. hooking on the tops. And I'm noticing that I'm breathing a little bit too hard. I'm going to slow it down and soften it. And then just rest your hands on your lower ribs and I want you to focus just holding a little bit on the left ribs and notice where the movement isn't coming okay so quite often we put a lot of movement into the left hand side we breathe into the left but less happens on the right so I just want you to notice that passion are you breathing a lot into the front are you breathing a lot at the top notice where you're breathing and then try and push your breath into the places where it isn't going, okay? And that will particularly mean into your back. We forget that we breathe into our back as well as into the front. So we go, and we fill our chest, okay? And we forget about what happens at the back. So I really want you to get that sense of opening your rib cage into the floor as well, okay? So just noticing.
So now you've done a few of those. And the last thing I want you to do is let your breath, your out breath become very, very long. Okay. And come and sit up. Fantastic. Okay. And just notice for yourself now as you're sitting. That should have released quite a lot of tension in your lower back for you. There's really opened up your breath, relaxed your lower back. It should feel quite different. You should feel a little bit dizzy. Um, and just want to let you, just want you to let yourself sit with that and let um, any emotions come up that are coming up. You may well find that um, any sadness is coming up. There's a huge amount of grief around at the moment. There's a huge amount of fear and uncertainty. There's, there's an uncertainty into how to be still. We're in a very strange space. So just sit and be with it for the time being and um, if you don't have anybody around you that you feel that you can talk to about this or that you don't understand it, then pop me a message. Um, I really hope that those two videos together have helped you today. And by all means, get in touch with me if you have any questions, if you have anything you want to share. It doesn't have to be out in the open. Um, I'm just about to qualify in counselling, so one of the things I'm about to share as well is how to hold your space when you're environment has really changed all your roles are coming into one place in your life and um, how to um, really establish being with yourself and being with other people in a safe comfortable way um, and how to create your own boundaries okay so um, look out for that in the next few days tomorrow i'm going to be talking pelvic floor so i hope you can join me if you want and please this isn't just for women pelvic floor is about everybody it's the young the old the male the female the people with children, people with not children, it accounts for everybody, okay? And it is a really important part of how we use that lower part of our pelvis. Okay, see you soon. Thanks. Bye.